For those of you who missed this week's episode of A Shadow Spark Chronicles, here's what's happening. Marzlin and Jade make their way to the ship as Bishop, Gwenton, and Helga go to the temple to retrieve their promised cure. As they enter the temple, they see Priest Moore performing a ritual. They stand in shock as they see him plunge a dagger into a worshiper while yelling out praise to an entity known as Bishaba. Bishop and Gwenton ask what he thinks he is doing, and Gwenton uses his magical weapon to stop him from slashing into another one of his worshippers. Helga throws some axes to distract the priest as Bishop and Gwenton rush forward. After a grueling fight, the three end up taking the priest down and manage to get one sample of the cure. Their surviving worshippers scream and run out of the temple. Gwenton heals Cirrus and he is now restrained. At some point during the fight, Helga is transformed back into being Oz. Bishop takes Cirrus out of the temple to talk with the authorities, and Oz brings the dead worshipper to show the atrocities the priest is doing. Met by the townsfolk, the trio, trio are told that they know what's going on, and they are, have interfered once again. Bishop, being disgusted at this knowledge, grabs a priest and tells him he will be taken into custody to be judged for his disgrace and head towards the ship. Gwenton and Oz in tow behind Bishop as they head back. The townsfolk follow and continue to threaten the group, but in the distance, Marzen sees this and uh, tells the captain to prepare for departure. Seeing the mob, mob, Captain Goldmine gets his crew to work. Jade summons Gunner and orders him to protect Bishop, Gwenton, and Oz. With everyone on board, Jade sacrifices Gunner so that a group can leave Perrin's folly safely. The group discuss the problems they now face with Bishop, ties Sears to the ship's mast. Gwenton takes the first watch on the prisoner, but he falls asleep and is woken to the prayer to Bishaba to bring destruction to the ship. Bishop takes over the watch and Gwenton goes to bed. Bishop talks with Sears about finding another way, but the conversation doesn't go very well. Bishop starts to feel some anger and decides it's better that Sears stays unconscious. The next day, a storm hits the seas, which makes the small broken ship toss and almost capsize. Gwenton mends the uh, sails, and Marzlin mends a hole in the hull. Please join us every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time as we continue the adventures of Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we'll see you in the dungeon. As I'm going to speak fucking redoing this. Oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs>